Hey everybody, this is Mr. Longo, and in this video we're going to cover parallel line similarity. When you have parallel lines that are cut by multiple transversals, not only do you have special properties with the angles, but in terms of the lengths of the sides in between the parallel lines, those are going to have similar ratios. There are a lot of options when it comes to this. You can do something like the top over the middle is equal to the top over the middle sections. We can do top over the bottom, A over C is equal to the top over the bottom, D over F. You can even do things like the bottom C over the top two put together, A plus B, is equal to the bottom F over the top two, D plus E. There are so many different things you can do. We're not going to list them all. You can even do things like A over A plus B plus C. Um, so we're not going to list them all. These are just a couple examples. What you're going to have to do is apply it to problems, obviously, that involve some algebra. Remember, there is more than one way to set these problems up almost always. So what you need to do is think of what works best for you and go for it. So for example, this one, I can think of doing x over 4 and then 3 over 6. You could also do x over 3 and 4 over 6. Remember, as long as you are consistent, you'll be good to go. So why don't you pause the video and try numbers 1 and 2. Give it a shot. So for number one, again, I gave you a hint to this one already. I would do x over 4 is equal to 3 over 6. And once I cross multiplied and solved for x, I would get x equals 2. So maybe you got the exact same thing. If you did, great job. Number two, this one you can set up a couple of different ways. You can do x minus 1 over 1 is equal to 4x over 6 if you want to do the whole thing. Um, but what I would find the easiest way to do it is if we know this whole thing is 6 and the top is 1, the bottom part has to be 5. So what I would have done is x minus 1 over 3x plus 1 is equal to 1 over 5. And then you cross multiply. Remember when you cross multiply you have to imagine that there are parentheses over your bin or around your binomials. So that would be 5x minus 5 is equal to 3x plus 1. Finish solving for x and you get x is equal to 3. Okay? So that's how you work with parallel line ones. The last one is not very difficult. It could just be done in multiple ways, and sometimes you need to rely on finding um, x or y first, and other times you don't. So you can find these variables in different orders. So why don't you pause the video and see if you can find x, y, and z in this diagram. And once you're ready, click play, and we'll see if you got it. Give it a shot. Okay, so there's a few different ways you could have started this problem. You could have started by finding x. You could have started by finding y. You cannot start off by finding z because you do not have enough information everywhere else. So I'm going to start with x because I have top middle and top middle right here. So that would be x over 4 is equal to 4 over 8. And once I cross multiply and solve, I'm going to end up with x is equal to 2. Um, and that one is fairly simple. Now you can use 2 to find z if you want to. But the other thing you could have done without finding anything else first would have been to find y. Um, because we know we could use 4 over y and 6 over 3, top over the bottom, top over the bottom. So 4 over y is equal to 6 over 3. And once we cross multiply, we're going to get y is also equal to 2. Um, so now we know this. So from here, again, you could do this multiple ways. Um, you could do 2 over z is equal to 4 over 2. Uh, you can do 4 over z and 8 over 2. You can do 2 over z and 6 over 3. So many different ways to find z once you have found x and y. So really, it's up to you. 
So I'm going to just do 4 over z is equal to 8 over 2, now that I know what y is, cross multiply, and we get z is equal to 1. Okay, so that one, a little bit of a puzzle problem. Again, it didn't really matter which order you wanted to do it, just as long as you know that it could be done multiple ways. If you got 2, 2, and 1, you are good to go. This is Longo, and I'm out. See you, bye.